Hello and welcome to another Webcam Wednesday, which today is on Tuesday because it's my dad's birthday, so I'm going to go there. Happy birthday, dad. Right. Now, just about the pregnancy vlog, I'm going to put that on a new channel because I think it's something that, you know, takes over your life. So I'm going to set up a new channel, which will probably be called Pregnant Man Blog, and it will start tomorrow. What I actually wanted to talk about this week was Paolo Di Canio, the fascist uh, manager, football manager of Sunderland Town Football Club. I'm not interested in football at all, as it happens. Um, but I wanted to say, first of all, this is absolutely not a defence of fascism. <sighs> fascism is totally outrageous, obviously, completely unacceptable, and I'm not going to give it any house room. But the fact that it's outrageous and unacceptable doesn't mean that it isn't interesting. It's a little bit like what I was saying about Jesus before. The theories of atonement are very interesting, but we're talking about somebody who was tortured and died horribly on a cross, um, which is something that's quite hard to be neutral about. But it is interesting. And we need to sort of adopt some detachment from that. OK, so Paolo Di Canio used to be the manager of Lazio, which is uh, the area of Italy, Latium, which is where the Latins came from. So it's where the Roman Empire started from. Now, I'm very, I'm very keen on the city of Rome. It is the most wonderful city in the world, as far as I'm concerned. But I don't feel um, a political attachment to the place. I find it politically quite disturbing. Now, fascism is actually not just any kind of authoritarianism, any kind of totalitarianism, police state, oppressive regime, and so forth. It's actually named after the Italian fascist or bundle of sticks, which was the use uh, in Roman times. It was a symbol of the Roman state because a bundle of sticks taken together is much harder to break than a single stick on its own would be. So that's the idea, is that you band together into a bundle and um, that's where it comes from. And it has various definitions. People feel very differently about it. Um, one of the definitions is that it's the ideology where one's only duty is to the state or one's only duty is to the nation. And that is interesting from the point of view of somebody being a football manager for a foreign country as far as he's concerned but I'll come back to that. That means that it's not essentially any more racist than a lot of other ideologies but and in fact when I went to Eur which is a fascist architecture area of Rome there was a frieze representing the history of Rome and in the middle of one of them it was various things that were considered to be positive about Rome in the middle of one of them was a menorah i.e. a Jewish symbol because Mussolini was mainly paying lip service to Hitler's racism. And another thing is that Nazism, which is equally unacceptable, is not fascism either, because it's a racist ideology, essentially racist, and is also a form of socialism, which fascism isn't really. Now, the problem, for, as far as Paolo Di Canio is concerned, is that, yeah, he may be racist. I wouldn't be at all surprised if he was racist, and that that will be a problem. But there is another problem, which is much more practical, which is this. If he's claiming to be a fascist, what he's saying is that he has a duty to his state or to his nation above all else. And his nation is not England or Sunderland. His nation is Lazio or Italy or, you know, the southern cities of Italy. And as such, he hasn't really got any right to be a football manager and he wouldn't be a good football manager for an English football club because that would mean his loyalties were with a completely different nation. So when he says he's fascist, he's basically, if that's true, he's ruling himself out for entirely practical reasons for being a football, good football manager. I understand he was manager of Swindon. I don't know what happened there. And obviously he's played for Lazio and there was a fascist salute thing. But the point is, not all this panic, moral panic type stuff, but looking at it intellectually, he's just not going to be a good football manager. Either that or he's claiming to be fascist and he isn't. OK, so that's the end of that. I'm going to start my new channel, which is going probably going to be called the Pregnant Man Vlog. And I will cover that there because I realise it attracts a lot of attention. Thanks for the subscriptions. If you want to see that, please subscribe to that vlog as well, that channel as well. And um, 
If you like this video, please rate, comment and subscribe and share. And if you dislike it, please um, tell me why so that I can improve and uh, please subscribe. So there's, you know, you've got yesterday's video, tomorrow's video, all that stuff. And I will also put a link to the other channel blog on here, which is probably going to be called the Pregnant Man blog. So thanks very much for all that attention and um, I'll see you over there, hopefully. Bye.